Hey guys, Matthew Green here from BeyondGrappling.com, UniversityofJudo.com. Here with Liam today, uh, and we're going to be going over just the idea of uh, timing within throws. Timing within throws. So often we do what you call me, and we talk about, you know, oh, I sort of go, I come in and throw. You know, I come in and throw. I do a hip I I come in and throw. But in reality, you hit a, you hit a wall often more times than not, depending on who you're fighting. Okay? As they get better, you hit a wall. What I mean by that is I go do a sort of go around Liam, and it's not this throw, it's this. And throw. And then the throw happens. Or how often have you seen a competition, a C and Aggie, where this happens? Like there's a resistance, and then I power through the resistance. And so another one is Uchimata, where we kind of teach like lift and throw. But in reality, it's like hop, 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 hop. And there's an, I mean, that's a hopping Uchimata. But there's this idea of like timing within throws. Be aware of the timing within throws. It'll actually help you finish more people. Okay, so sometimes people come in, they meet resistance and they exit. And then they stay in and meet the resistance and go underneath it or around it or whatever it may be. So my Sinagi, for example, might be, I come in and I meet resistance, so I need to get a little bit lower. And then I go under the resistance. Or maybe I come in, I meet resistance, and I go with the resistance. So, but there's timing within throws. Another one for me is my Osotagari, because we teach our school and I We teach Liam, we teach in you know, all our classes to step in chest on chest and throw. But that never happens in Randori. There's always resistance. Now I know my Osotagari is this. I hook in, I wait for them to step, and now I also go. So, timing within throws. But now I'm aware of it, I'm throwing more people. Because I enter, resistance, I then deal with it. Rather than not being aware of it and thinking you're doing something wrong. Sometimes you are, you're not bending your knees enough, you're pulling enough, or whatever. But the more you start accepting the fact that your throws, the timing's gonna change, it'll actually help you throw way more people. So now with my Osotagari, I don't go, wham! I go, wait for the foot step, step, and now I go. So I wait, could be one second, could be shorter, it'll help you throw more people. So I really hope that helps. Timing within throws. Um, have a great week. If you have any questions or comments, please leave a comment below. We'll do our best to get back to you. Uh, and make sure to subscribe, with new video every Monday. Hit the bell to get an email in your email inbox. Have a great week, and we'll talk to you soon.